there are a lot of people who are not able to talk about their failures you know more most often than not we know that okay this guy was successful but like you mentioned about your journey i love there was so many uh, obstacles failing points so would you gather some information and can can you tell me about what was your biggest failure because this is something which nobody wants to talk about why yeah. i am talking about this because as a startup or entrepreneur or anyone uh, it's important that it is taken as a normal thing not uh, because of social media nowadays i've seen a lot of people or young kids are not able to believe in themselves just because of they fail and they quit and they compare themselves on social media so something would you draw some line on that absolutely um i think my life is not about uh, if as a founder as not my <laughs> but my yeah. company you know it's it's never about it's never been the flashy side you know we haven't reached there yet probably so uh i mean it's always the wrong decisions and how we overcome this uh out of all of them as as a founder what i would like to tell to everyone you know that <clears throat> if you are if you want to start something it's good to have a uh, uh, lot of energy like me but lot of energy get wasted you know uh, in if if you don't have proper product market fit or if you even don't go to one level of validating your ideas so all i am saying is that whenever you think of an idea always look for just one customer that you can convince to you that's it so if if you start any idea with this philosophy that's it you have a product which solves a problem and you will definitely get some traction over the period of time but without this just jumping on to an idea you which you don't have anything any idea about and you don't have customer meaning you don't your product doesn't work it's it's that straight forward even though it works it doesn't have a customer so all i'm saying is that as a founder we have to be very be very mindful within short period of time you try to convince one customer because that gives give the whole clarity of your business yes and then you will not be wasting years and years uh, yeah i will validate you that what you've done is verified you can say and in your mind you can think okay i can go to one customer to five six and then probably you are into it absolutely and yeah. this is one thing i want to say and the second one is that do not worry i i mean this is more optimistic one <laughs> so <laughs> because you are you are full optimistic person i, I found know. that yeah <laughs> so uh, so so the second one is not the negative side is like uh, being being optimistic and being uh, you know perseverance like uh, you need to have strong head uh, thought process that hey what i am doing is right even though it's not a big problem to solve but it is definitely solving some problem and i'll have customer and market for it if i am working if i am, i want to solve it if you believe in that just keep on working in it there will be so many struggles you might not not have any money in your bank account but it is okay because i feel once you solve somebody's problem he, he's going to pay you man like it's very simple and that's where uh, you know your traction would come so that's the optimistic side like uh, don't listen to everyone just listen to yourself if and listen to your customers <laughs> definitely definitely okay so uh, any of uh, your uh, biggest fear of in life or you can say in the past or you found that this is something which comes to your mind all the time you know that biggest fear that haunts you down good question uh it probably my brother would have been the right guy to oh, that, okay Okay. because i work in team you know <laughs> if <laughs> i don't i don't see the fear <laughs> he sees the fear it fun okay. sees the in different way i i don't it comes see to I, you from them it comes to you that i yeah, yeah yeah so they will i will uh, pitch the idea and they will be like no 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 these are these are the problems these are problems the different yeah. ways uh, my brother is more analytical he will tell all the problems related with implementation or you know user growth or what not ipan would tell me probably from more economic side of things and then i'll be like okay i can't take this forward <laughs> so i i won't like that but anyways but i do have uh, my fear is basically more on uh, you know personal side uh, i mean sometimes I, i i think i should be open to say this on a platform like this because now it's the time 
so mostly mm-hmm. uh, you know family and uh, friends uh, so if you are a founder it's very tough to keep maintaining look i'm giving you 40 minutes but i have not given 40 minutes or 15 this is, minutes this is yeah my friend very important or, thing yeah keep texting me how are you and good how how you are doing i have not talked to them for i don't know how many years uh, i so this is this is the one of the biggest fear that you know people might start uh, thinking me as non social or i just don't care about anyone uh, this is like one fear i think every founder has who is slowly in the growth phase because the time becomes limited and uh, sometimes you 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 love your project so much that you give more priority to your right. project than your friends and family uh, because of the exciting yeah so that's all one yeah. i think all of us have yeah definitely because uh, the journey itself is exciting plus i feel this is a sacrifice more of a thing because why wouldn't you want to spend time with your loved ones who would not but you know when it comes to fa- 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 becoming a founder of a company yeah. then uh, consistently you are anxious excited nervous you know and then <laughs> suddenly again excited about the future so it goes yeah. on and on the, the track is like that but that's yeah. wonderful uh, for you to just come out in the open and share this out because i feel uh, this is important to talk about as we go forward you know because the generation now coming up we are like in india especially uh, most of the population is uh, 25 plus so just looking at that they the self believe and the sacrifice you make you know from your journey if you can inspire i feel just 10 people that's Absolutely. that's commendable i mean because that's how the ecosystem will shape up actually um, this the last point that you said you know it starts from your family honestly so uh, in my opinion uh, like i got in- inspired from my uncles uh, and he got inspired okay. from my father you know it was like that like my father helped my uncle and my uncle helped me in whatever ways like in understanding technology becoming software developer and whatever uh, similarly now if i can help like five of my own siblings and that's it you have your you know so 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 yeah so it starts from your family first look yes. at your family and friends if you can help them after getting into that zone just five or 10 Oh, tremendous! I I don't know. You get goosebumps feeling that you know about that that you did something. You gave back. You know, your energies while we go away from this earth, only our energies, what we did, will be here as well as helping them in some sort of a way can just uh, change uh, the whole concept of the. Then those five can help fifty of them just because you help those five people. So that's the that's blockchain. <laughs> that's a <laughs> chain. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, way. go on. Come on. Yeah, it, this is deep talk. You know, you can go I, on. I think I, I, that's a nice, you know, uh, you know, the uh, way of thinking that you just said. That's blockchain. Probably, yeah, you are right. Uh, connecting people uh, in a very different way. Uh, probably, just with your thought process, people are able to follow you, or you know, you can make some changes in their life. probably this is what decentralization is over yes. everything else the technology side is just one way of implementing some small part of it. yeah just for being part of the ecosystem and just getting a little more in fact i was uh, writing an article i i write uh, blogs so i was writing an article is decentralized truly decentralized because i thought let's say somebody mint a token come with their company okay and they are having a massive share of the tokens i mean this is also not set, like uh, decentralized on the longer run but okay for the fact that what was running on it just got better in some shape better yeah better so for it, them as a startup and better for the ecosystem if let's say that i have uh, 80% of the token but what if i decide to give it back to the community you know i say from today we are distributing to everyone who just want our token please come here and just get it for free and from there it uh, they kick off the networks that becomes slightly more decentralized you know yes and and, uh, uh, and speaking of that web 3.0 is community driven you know it we all know that that if you have the community you can exceed if you don't have the community 
Okay, I'll I'll tell you something about.